We have Jenna Gabriel here, the setter for the University of Texas. Now, Jenna, you're from Honolulu, Hawaii. How does it feel living in the mainland for the first time? I absolutely love it. I thought it'd be a very big change and somewhat of a culture shock, which it was when I first got here. But now I'm two years in. I'm almost like an Austin native, if you will. Maybe I won't go that far, but um, I absolutely love it here. The people are super nice, which kind of gives me a great homey feel. And Austin is just a really easy place to fall in love with so. So what's been your favorite thing about Austin? I definitely say that my new experience with tacos has been one of my favorite things. Um, I don't remember the last time I've had a hard shell taco. Like people here think that is actually weird. Like you're not allowed to eat hard shell tacos here. Like back home when we'd have like Taco Tuesday and Taco Night, it would be hard shell tacos and I absolutely loved it. And as soon as you bring out like a tortilla, that's a burrito to me. But now like I'm like a little like taco connoisseur and like I love to go find new places to try tacos around Austin. Something like me and my teammates do a lot and we've kind of like found our like really cool spots that are our go-tos and then try to branch out sometimes. But the tacos are definitely top here here in Austin. Yeah, definitely. Once you go tacos, you don't go back. <laughs> And I'm sure everyone in Austin is so glad you are there. Now you came as a DS, moved to the setter role, and now you led the nation in hitting percentage for your team this past season. How was that adjustment to go from DS to that starting role? Yeah, it was definitely very different for me. Growing up, I've been a setter since I started playing volleyball. So for eight years now, I started when I was 12. And coming in, it was kind of hard to wrap my head around the fact that I would kind of be trying to change positions and learning how to be a defensive specialist at one of the highest levels of volleyball. But I just tried to go into it with a really good mindset. When I first got into campus, I was the first one in the gym getting extra reps with the setters. And then I would go into team practice. And then I was the last one to leave the gym because I was getting extra reps with the passers. So it was pretty hard trying to perfect the skill that I've been working on my whole life and then also trying to catch up and like learn a whole entire new position. But I just, I just put my head down and I kept grinding and I kept working really hard at it. And when the opportunity came for me to go into the game and finally get to set at such a high level, I just told myself to just go in there and, and make the best of it. And it's been pretty great ever since and going where your team needs you. You're extremely coachable as that speaks volumes. And not only are you coachable, but you have some grit in you. I saw the video that went viral with your overpass block stuff that the look back, just looking at the video, that says a lot about how you play, but how would you describe yourself as a player? Yeah, I definitely say off the court, I'm pretty bubbly. I'm always laughing and having a good time. And then as soon as I step onto the court and there's an opponent on the other side, I don't know, I kind of just go into this different gear and I'm very, very competitive sometimes my family would say overly competitive but once I'm on the court it's just it's do or die do anything you have to win and I'm absolutely in love with that feeling and that's just kind of like the little zone that I get into and that look back video is definitely a great example of that little fieriness I get when I'm out on the court and you can see that passion you have so much fight and not only do you have passion for the game of volleyball but you love music you can play the guitar and you you have an amazing voice. Is that something you want to pursue after or is that just a fun hobby? It's definitely something that I'll always do for the rest of my life. It's just such an easy outlet and something to go to when I'm feeling kind of stuck in a little like athlete box and I, I realize that I'm not just an athlete, like I'm still a person and I love to do other things. But yeah, definitely something I would look into doing in the future if the stars align that way. But it's definitely one of my favorite things to do it will always be my favorite hobby. Now, Jenna, you are great at what you do. What advice do you have for those younger girls out there that want to be great like you? I would definitely say just find what you love. In this case, it's definitely volleyball. And to just not get caught up, don't get in your own head and just remember why you started playing and remember why you love it. And just remember those feelings that you get when you're on the court. And for me personally, as a setter, it's like when one of my middles goes up and just absolutely bounces a ball or I set a ball halfway across the court and it's just a beautiful kill. It's those feelings that I always remember and I'm obviously not getting to play volleyball for the past couple of months have just been reminiscing and, and just remembering why I do what I do and it just helps me work twice as hard just because I want to work so hard to have those moments again. Well you can see the love of the game that comes out of you when you play and we love watching you so keep it up. Thank you.